Advocates and lawmakers joined family members of the late Fanta Billity today. You may remember she was the eight-year-old little girl who was accidentally shot and killed by police at a football game last August. Our Jeff Cole joins us now live. And Jeff, today they're responding to the motion to dismiss the charges against those three officers. Yeah, they sure were. Look, this is a case that drew much attention and certainly was tragic. Late August, uh, Fantability was killed by three police officers. Nobody here argues that the police officers wanted to kill Ability, but whether those actions that they took last August led or should lead to the kind of charges that they face now, including manslaughter. Let's take a look at some pictures. It was the evening of August 27th after a football game in Sharon Hill when the three police officers, Brian Devaney, Sean Dolan, and Devon Smith fired on a dark sedan because they believed the occupants were firing at them. They were wrong. The shooting was coming from elsewhere. At least one of the bullets they fired hit and killed eight-year-old Fantability leaving the game with her family. The officers now fired by Sharon Hill face a number of charges including voluntary and involuntary manslaughter. Today in court and media the defense argued those charges should be dropped. Defense attorneys had little to say after court while activists are angry. We're talking over 20 bullets went into a crowd of black and brown people and when it all ended, a child lost her life. Her sister was wounded. Another child was wounded. And we're standing here today trying to determine if we should charge the three officers that fired their weapons. One of the defense attorneys said that these men were charged because of their profession, i.e. they were charged because they were cops. You shook your head. Absolutely wrong. Uh, as Doug Rhodes, my deputy district attorney, so eloquently said, uh, it doesn't matter who shot what their profession was. If anybody had done what they did that night, they would be facing the same charges. So once again, the three officers have been fired from Sharon Hill. They are charged with a number of char charges. Involuntary and voluntary manslaughter. Today in court, their attorneys argued that the manslaughter charges should be dropped. They're still facing reckless endangerment charges, even if those charges are dropped. The judge says she may make a call sometime by mid to late September on the case. Live here in media at the courthouse, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Jason. Thank you, Jeff.